So conscious choice uh, Speyburn. So this whiskey is matured in a remade American hogshead. I was recently in, in Malaysia and they were asking me the difference between the bourbon barrel and the remade American hogshead. So both American oak and both started the same way. It would have been a bourbon barrel originally and it would have been um, flat packed, so broken down and shipped back to Scotland and then remade. So how do they do it? I mean, I've been to the cooperate and I saw them just making them back up. So they add in an extra two staves. So rather than remaking it to a barrel, they remake it into a hogshead, so a 250 litre cask. So we go from 190 litres roughly to 250 litres in a hogshead. Roughly, yeah. Every cask is different, so I don't think they can get it exactly right. The lovely nose, they kind of waxy. So this has matured in American oak. They, they grow slower than yeah. European oak, isn't and it? tall and straight. It's got a much tighter grain as well. They're looking for the light. Yeah. So it gives you a much more vanilla, citrus and coconut influence coming through compared to European oak, mm -hmm. which gives you much more of that toffee. It's nice golden colour. And well, spicy on the palate. It's more of a chilli spice for me. It's, um, you get that kind of tingling sensation in the back of your mouth. As you say, it is slightly peppery, chilli. Yeah. Tingly on your tongue. <laughs> lovely, absolutely lovely. It's quite a long finish. Uh, the finish you've got, you've got the mint, the minty finish, it's very fresh. And there's, a, there's no smokiness in there at all. It's more of a fruitiness, more citrus. I get a bit of kind of that apple and pear influence coming through. Yeah, this is my kind of dram. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous.